Jamaica from Wikipedia the free encyclopedia http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org This is part one of two of the Jamaica sound file. Jamaica informally known as J A and Jamrock is an island nation of the Great Antilles. 240 kilometers in length and as much as 80 kilometers in width, situated in the Caribbean Sea, 630 kilometers from the Central American mainland, 150 kilometers from Cuba on the north, and 180 kilometers from the island of Hispaniola, on which Haiti and the Dominican Republic are situated on the east. Its indigenous Arawak-speaking Taino inhabitants named the island Shahmaika meaning either the land of springs or the land of wood and water. Formerly a Spanish possession known as Santiago, then the British West Indies Crown Colony of Jamaica, the country's population is composed mainly of the descendants of former African slaves. It is the third most populous after the United States and Canada Anglophone country in the Americas. Section 1 History. The original Arawak or Taino people from South America first settled on the island between 1000 and 400 BC. They became virtually extinct following contact with Europeans. Jamaica was claimed for Spain after Christopher Columbus first landed there in 1494. Columbus used it as his family's private estate. The English Admiral William Penn, father of William Penn of Pennsylvania and General Venables seized the island in 1655. During its first 200 years of British rule, Jamaica became the world's largest sugar exporting nation and produced over 77,000 tons of sugar annually between 1820 and 1824, which was achieved through the massive use of imported African slave labor. By the beginning of the 19th century, Britain's heavy reliance on slavery resulted in blacks outnumbering whites by a ratio of almost 20 to 1, leading to constant threat of revolt. Following a series of rebellions, slavery was formally abolished in 1834, with full emancipation from chattel slavery declared in 1838. Jamaica slowly gained increasing independence from the United Kingdom and in 1958 Jamaica became a province in the Federation of West Indies, a federation between all British West Indies. Jamaica attained full independence by leaving the federation in 1962 and is now a completely sovereign nation. Jamaica celebrated the tricentennial of British rule in 1955. Deteriorating economic conditions during the 1970s led to recurrent violence and a drop-off in tourism. Former capitals of Jamaica include Port Royal, where the pirate governor Morgan held sway and which was destroyed by a storm and earthquake, and Spanish Town, in St. Catherine Parish, the site of the old Spanish colonial capital and the English capital during the 18th and 19th century. Section 2. Politics. Jamaica is a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary democracy. The head of state is Queen Elizabeth II. The monarch's representative in Jamaica is the Governor General, who is chosen by the Prime Minister and fills the role of approving bills and other state functions. For the most part, the monarch, through her representative, the Governor General, is a figurehead, and what little real power she has is reserved for times of crisis. The present government favors turning Jamaica into a republic within the Commonwealth, in which the Queen and Governor General would be replaced by a president. The Jamaican Constitution was drafted by the Bipartisan Joint Committee of the Jamaican Legislature in 1961 and 1962, approved in the United Kingdom and included as the second schedule of the Jamaica Constitution Order and Council. 1962 under the West Indies Act, 1962. 
It came into force with the Jamaican Independent Act, 1962, of the United Kingdom Parliament, which gave Jamaica political independence. The Jamaican Parliament is bichameral, consisting of the House of Representatives and the Senate. Members of the House, known as Members of Parliament, or MPs, are directly elected, and the leader of the majority party in the House becomes the Prime Minister. Senators are appointed by the Prime Minister and the Parliamentary Leader of the Opposition. The current Prime Minister of Jamaica is P.J. Patterson, who has held office since the 1992 resignation of Michael Manley. He has been since re-elected three times, the last being in 2002. Jamaica's constitution requires the Prime Minister to call the next general election by October 2007. Jamaica has traditionally had a two-party system, with power often alternating between the People's National Party and Jamaica's Labour Party. Jamaica is a full and participating member of the Caribbean community CARICOM. Section 3. Geography The island of Jamaica has mountainous inlands surrounded by a narrow coastal plain. For this reason, most major cities are located on the coast. Chief towns include the capital, Kingston, Spanish Town, Mandeville, and Montego Bay. More satellite maps, which allow zoom in and zoom out, are available from Google's map server. A live webcam atop the Gleaner newspaper building on 7th North Street in Kingston is available. The climate in Jamaica is tropical, with hot and humid weather, although inland regions have a more temperate climate. Some regions on the south coast, such as the Linguane Plain and the Pedro Plains, are relatively dry rain shadow areas. Section 4. Economy Jamaica operates as a mixed free market economy with the state enterprises as well as private sector businesses. Major sectors of the Jamaica economy include agriculture, mining, manufacturing, tourism, and financial and insurance insurance services. Insurance services. Tourism and mining are the leading foreign exchange earners. Support by the multilateral financial institutions, Jamaica has, since the early 1980s, sought to be implemented. Supported by multilateral financial institutions, Jamaica has, since the early 1980s, sought to implement structural reforms aimed at fostering private sector activity and increasing the role of market forces in resource allocation. Since 1991, the government has followed a program of economic liberalization and stabilization by removing exchange controls, floating the exchange rate, cutting tariffs, cutting tariffs, stabilizing the Jamaican currency, reducing inflation, and removing restrictions on foreign investment. Emphasis has been placed on maintaining strict fiscal discipline, greater openness to trade and financial flows, market liberalization, and reduction in the size of government. During this period, a large share of the economy was returned to private sector ownership through divestment and privatization programs. The Macroeconomic Stabilization Program introduced in 1991, which focused on tight fiscal and monetary policies, has contributed to a control reduction in, in three has contributed to a controlled reduction in the rate of inflation. The annual inflation rate has decreased from high three. The annual inflation rate has decreased from a high of 80.2% in 1991 to 7.9% in 1998. Inflation for fiscal year 1998-1999 was 6.2% compared to 7.2% in the corresponding period of fiscal year 1997-1998. The government remains committed to lowering inflation, with a long-term objective of bringing it in line with that of its major trading partners. After a period of steady growth from 1985 to 
1995, real GDP decreased by 1.8% and 2.4% in 1996 and 1997, respectively. The decrease in GDP in 1996 and 1997 was largely due to significant problems in the financial sector and, in 1997, a severe island-wide drought, the worst in 70 years, that drastically reduced agriculture production. In 1997, nominal GDP was approximately 220,556.2 million dollars, Jamaican dollars, 6,198.9 million US dollars, based on the average annual exchange rate of the period. The economy in 1997 was marked by low levels of import growth high levels of private capital inflows, and relative stability in the foreign exchange market. Recent economic performance shows the Jamaican economy is recovering. Agriculture production, an important engine of growth, increased 15.3% in third quarter of 1998 compared to the corresponding period in 1997, signaling the first positive growth rate in the sector since January 1997. Bauxite and alumina production increased 5.5% from January to December. 1998 compared to the corresponding period in 1997. January's bauxite production recorded a 7.1% increase relative to January 1998. Tourism, which is the largest foreign exchange earner, showed improvement as well. Growth in the tourist arrivals accelerated in the third quarter of 1998 and tourism earnings increased 8.5% from January to December 31st, 1998 compared to the corresponding period in 1997. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash